I couldn't even eat. I was so excited. It's a mowing day. A perfect mowing day. A perfect day. So I got new glasses. But guys. Oh. For the first time in my life, I got prescription sunglasses. I can just put these on and I can see. And there's a cat. Man, I see you wearing salute angel. Oh, man, it's mowing day. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? Oh. Hey, bud, how you doing? I think I'm gonna need another cleaning of this poor little mower. Because it's just been sitting here the whole winter and the cat has sat on it multiple times with its muddy little feet. The neighbor cat. I wouldn't describe my own cat's feet. <laughs> so I tried mowing a little bit on the higher setting because this grass is really thick and it's probably wet in some areas. So I put it on the highest setting for a change. I'm not used to doing that, but the first mow for me came a little later this year. So I'm going to have to get that really tall stuff kind of chopped down and then I can maybe fine tune it if I want it shorter. You can do a squish test. And then you can see the tracks. Yay! The first of spring and it smells so good. Okay, that's looking good. Look at this though. Two points are already knocked off the battery. So I didn't even really do anything. I just did one pass there. And then, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's the best. And then it gets better the more frequently you use it, I think. starting kind of small and work my way up so I really I'm surprised that on this highest setting it actually looks as short as it does I'm gonna go on the high setting and then I would go to the lower setting if I can if I can if I can make it that far smells like onions in this section. All right, so I got this little section done and I have this one left. On the highest setting, man, that really makes a difference. I still have all this battery. Only two little bars were taken off. So, I did a little over there and a little up here, so that seems really good. So I think that's all she wrote. Here's my little tire tracks. That was some of the thickest, most ridiculous grass and wettest in the world. Alright, so we've got red, two red and orange. I used this boot tray to put underneath here so when I scraped off some of the stuff it went on this tray. I need to take the deck off and clean it again. It's about that time of year. Pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with the lawn. Looks pretty good. Oh, you know what? I don't think I should be charging this with the Tesla. So we kind of realized when the Tesla was charging, I 
we go. Sorry, buddy. I think it actually affects the charging when we try to charge the Tesla and this because it's just an old outlet. I mean, this is an old barn and this door is closing on me. Okay. It needs to be cleaned, but it was an enjoyable day. I like the high setting and it didn't last the whole lawn, but I didn't expect it to because this is spring and I didn't wait for it to dry out and it was super heavy, super thick, super long, super tall, super everything. Our grass is always super everything, except for super thin or super, you know. Anyway, uh, maybe I should reapply some Never Wet. I could tell it was really thick and it was gonna get clogged because, you know, a mother can always tell. It sounded like, it was more high pitched than normal. And yeah, look at my arm, you know. Just a typical day in the life of a mower. Green arms. You know, it doesn't even make any sense. I have an air blower. I have my little tools that I could use. Didn't bring any of those. Nope, just went out completely. I was so excited to mow. I was just like, forget it. So whatever. Next time I'll get that deck clean and we'll see how far it can go. How far will it go? Like a Disney song. Let me hear. Okay, I gotta wash the sweater because this is my favorite sweater and I don't want it to die mowing. We're back, baby. 